Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, gonna be doing kind of an update video here uh, for you guys, kind of talking about some things that are gonna be happening uh, very soon, and uh, talking to you guys about some other things. So, uh, we are here on Autumn Oaks right now. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing this video on this map here. Uh, I'm not doing like a mod review or anything like that. I'm just on this map while I'm talking. Uh, so, as many of you saw, I am getting back into videos, kind of. Uh, I only had one video out, which is not what I was planning to do, but that's what ended up happening. Um, my goal last weekend was to be uploading uh, videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is kind of my plan, uh, is to have videos out every weekend for you guys. Uh, so that means, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday having videos out, um, and only on those days. Uh, the video that I did was on auto, uh, No Creek Farms. I did get a lot of uh, feedback on that saying I should do um, this map instead, Autumn Oaks here, uh, and... To be honest, I kind of like this map a little bit better than No Creek. So I decided, you know what, I guess maybe I will go right on ahead and uh, do Autumn Oaks here instead. Uh, since a good few people wanted to see this map anyways. So that's uh, why I am on this map right now. Um, I need to turn my headset down just a little bit. But uh, yeah, so... The goal is having videos out every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Obviously, it's not happening over this weekend. It is already Saturday. Uh, I'm hoping to start this off starting next weekend, so the 16th, 17th, and 18th of February. Uh, and then, again, the 23rd, 24th, and 25th of February. So, that's kind of what I'm hoping to have happen. Um, now, that is very heavily going to depend on how my week goes. Uh, if I get too busy during the week where I'm unable to uh, record any video, then there won't be a video out that weekend. Uh, it's all going to depend on how my week goes because every week is different uh, for me. So, you know, if I'm unable to record all three videos, then I will do like just Friday or just Saturday. Uh, you know, depending on, let's say I get two videos recorded instead of all three then I'll just space them out and do like Friday and Sunday or you know maybe um, Saturday and Sunday just kinda depending on how the week goes so we'll just kinda have to play by ear all the time here uh, that's gonna be kinda the biggest biggest thing uh, you know in doing this right now so uh, like I said you know I do I'm hoping to have every single weekend, but it's just going to kind of depend. Um, the time that the videos go out is going to be uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, that's the goal. Uh, if I have to make it where it's like later in the day, then that may happen. So if there's not a video at 4, either there won't be one that day or there will be one coming out later in the afternoon uh, or in the evening there. Um, so that's kind of what's going to happen there. Uh, it's just, it's heavily going to depend on how things go during the week. That is going to be the biggest factor of everything. Um, I'm not going to get back into daily uploads like I was. I don't have the time for that. Uh, or do I have the desire to get back into that? Uh, daily uploads, it was just way too much. Uh, or it's, it's way too much for me to be doing right now. I mean, back when I was doing it it was okay because I didn't have as much going on uh, as I do now so that's kinda what's gonna happen there uh, so like I said we are here on Oak Creek or uh, Autumn Oaks goodness uh, this is where we'll be farming from now on uh, so I'll take you guys through the equipment here in just a moment and then show you kinda the equipment that we're running uh, one thing before we get into the equipment here is I do have a question for all of you guys. Um, so, 
how many of you want to see a updated video on my truck? Uh, I know a while back I got some more requests, or I got some requests to do that, uh, to do more videos on it. Uh, but I just haven't. Um, I've done a lot of stuff since then. Uh, in the past, like, year I have done so much to my truck. Um, so, why in the world is this thing way up here? So, uh, if you want to see that, then comment down below. Uh, or if you're new to the channel and haven't seen a video on it before, um, you know, also comment down below saying you'd like to see one. And uh, we can make that happen. Uh, it is very cold out right now, so a lot of the video would be inside the truck talking about it, and then I'd get out and show some stuff. But the uh, vast majority of that video would be inside. Uh, with it being so cold out unless I found a nice day or I was able to have my truck inside while I do it um, So yeah, all right without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get into this so starting off we have our uh, Pickup right here. We got a Ford f-350. What year is it? Uh, it doesn't say uh, Ford f-350 XLT. I don't even remember where I found this truck um, I might go in to Giants editor and remove all these decals on it uh, definitely not the 4x4, but uh, like this channel and the Case IH and the IH. Um, so, might remove those, we'll see. But uh, it's not a bad truck. Uh, it is a truck that I remember being in FS13, I think, or one very similar. Uh, it does have a fifth wheel plate in it as well as straps. So those are kind of nice. Um, and then we walk up here, so we have a, um, kind of the workshop area right here that we can work in, and then there is more storage over here as well, but at the moment we're not using it. Um, here is our grain setup, so the grain gets dumped in here, and then comes out, uh, right up here for our grain hauling setup we have a Mac R, R model uh, 1997 1977 excuse me R model Mac with a Dakota hopper bottom trailer on it uh, I'm not going for the super small approach that I usually do I am going more old school at the moment and I mean we're kinda medium sized we're not full on large scale farm right now but we may get there in the future John Deere 2410 three section chisel uh, for our cultivating needs. Uh, we have a, I believe this is the 35, or did I get the 40? Uh, I got the 40 foot Macdon FD75 Draper header. Uh, and then we got the 12 row corn head. Uh, in here we have a John Deere 4320 with the cab. We have two John Deere 4955s with duels, a versatile 900, and then we hop up in this shed. Um, we have our John Deere, and now I see why it moved, because it slides. Uh, John Deere 9770 STS combine with duels and Maurer tank extension, and it does slide very badly. Uh, I don't know why, might have to look into fixing that. We have the Great Plains uh, 3S 3000 HD grain drill, uh, the Stilla sprayer. This is the one from the um, uh, sprayer control pack. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called now, but it is an edit. It is a modded version. Uh, this one works with the section control mod. That's what it is. Uh, so. That's that one, and then I edited the speed limiter on it so I can drive as fast as I want, basically. And then we have the Kinsey 13, 3600. Goodness, I can't even talk today. Kinsey 3600 uh, corn planter here. And uh, that's pretty much all of our equipment for the moment. Uh, for seed and fertilizer, we have to go all the way down there, uh, or else I'm going to look into um, some seed and fertilizer trailers. Uh, I do have a couple... Uh, if we go into sprayers, I have this one, but it doesn't really handle very nicely, so I may get this one uh, that has a 
3,700 liter capacity. Uh, it wouldn't fill this though, so maybe I might go in and adjust the capacity. Um, I know it wouldn't be exactly correct, but just for the use that I have it for, unless I can find some other ones that I like. Um, I do have a couple seed trailers, but they're not quite what I want. Uh, what I'm planning to do is either take this truck and edit it so it has seeds instead of fertilizer, or I'm going to take like maybe one of these trailers or something, um, a trailer like that, and uh, let's see, oops, wrong one, uh, it might also be in low loaders, uh, this trailer or something along those lines, um, and make it so that it works with uh, seeds instead uh, so that way we can have those trailers but uh, for the time we'll kind of see what happens here um, or put down some placeable seed and fertilizer here in the farmyard uh, fields we're gonna probably be running the ones close to the farm like field 9 uh, maybe those strips um, that field right there uh, 10 and 11 this one right here around the farm uh, just kind of these ones near the farm basically and uh, the medium to small fields we're not going to run the large ones quite yet until we upgrade um, to bigger equipment in the future if we do uh, we'll see we'll just kind of see how it goes maybe the equipment that we have now will run these fields just fine um, we'll see so just kind of giving you guys that update there um, so those videos will start next weekend and um you guys will be able to see those then so thanks for watching you guys uh stay tuned for those videos and uh but as always thanks for watching this video and uh we'll see you in the next one